The tutorial you are watching is part of Python Fundamentals, probably the best Python beginner course on the internet. Hello and welcome. So in this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate functions with Turtle. And having already done them, um, we're going to jump in straight to a function that takes parameters. And then we're going to do something interesting. We're going to have a function that makes a polygon call itself. And this is called recursion. Um, so we are going to have a play around with that. And that creates some very, very interesting designs with not a lot of code. So let's get started. Um, let's just think of a way we create a polygon using two variables. We've already done something similar. So if we say sides equals to five side length, or just length. And now we go for i in range zero comma sides turtle dot forward length and turtle dot left. 360 divided by sides. So if we run this, we're going to get ourselves a pentagon. And if we make that bigger, we're going to get a bigger pentagon. Or wait, I thought that was 100. Now we're going to get a bigger pentagon. Now we're going to get an octagon and so on. And it's actually very easy to turn this into a function. Um, we just create a function called a polygon. And the parameters are sides, comma, length. And then we can call the polygon function and recreate this one if we want. I mean, I will recreate a different one, 123, right? So we're going to have a large polygon. We have an error on line four. Yes, of course. Functions need a colon and an indent. There you have it. That's a decent looking polygon. Okay, so what would happen if this thing called itself? So let's just make a pentagon, perhaps. And if we just, after we uh, draw the polygon, we call another polygon. And this time we say same number of sides, but we say length minus two. And this would go on and on and on. You would get to negative length and then it would start drawing another one. So as you can see, a cool kind of chaos ensues. In fact, recursion is um, a subset of something called chaos mathematics. So let's, um, you can, we can play with this a little bit more. Um, for example, if we want to have the turtle move a little bit, right? So maybe move like in a circle, like turtle dot forward a certain distance, I don't know, three pixels and turtle dot left five pixels, and then if we call a polygon, sorry, to the little left five degrees, forward. I think I found that error without, and there you go. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of interesting. And let's say you want to stop that. You don't want it to become chaotic and infinite again. It's interesting how it's kind of following the same lines, but this time getting bigger. Let's say you want to stop that process at some point. Well, we certainly can do that. I mean, if you have this length there um, that, that constantly changes, um, we can have that as a variable inside the function. I'm just wondering, for example, if we said, um, if length is less than one, 
and then we say return false. So the function returns something, so the function exits. Um, I'm not sure this is going to work, but we're going to find out. We certainly could have length as a local variable to a function, and that would work. No, nope, this works great. So there you have it. Um, a great example using recursion um, and more importantly using functions you can see how easy it is you write a normal polygon function you twist it a little bit go forward and left so that it kind of goes in circles you specify when you exit and then you have the function call itself until basically the length runs out interesting applications and a really fun way to recap functions. Okay, see you guys in the next tutorial. Hi there, my name is Sanyan. I make these videos and I really think that we should interact a bit more. So yeah, drop me a line. If you like the video, make sure to thumbs it up and the subscribe button right there. I am averaging about three videos per week in 2018 so don't miss out on the fun finally the playlists this course playlist link there other python tutorials there that's all for now catch you later